New at midday, a woman accused of luring men for sex and then drugging them so that she could rob them appeared in a Franklin County courtroom. Thank you for joining us. I'm Monica Day. 33-year-old Rebecca Auburn was arrested last Wednesday after being indicted on more than two dozen charges, including four counts of murder. Matthew Herchik is joining us now. He was in the courtroom and has details of that appearance. Matthew. Monica, good morning. Rebecca Auburn's appearance was very brief this morning. She did appear in the courtroom in person. She did not speak other than to confirm her presence for the record before her defense attorney waived her bond, meaning she will remain behind bars as this case continues. Now, in addition to the four murder charges that you mentioned, Auburn is also facing four counts of involuntary manslaughter, five counts each of aggravated robbery, felonious assault, and corrupt another with drugs. She's also charged with one count of tampering with evidence and four counts of drug trafficking. Now this all stems from a joint investigation between the Columbus Division of Police and the Ohio Bureau of Criminal Investigation. According to the Attorney General's office, during their investigation, detectives connected Auburn to several overdoses and robberies between December of 2022 and June of this year. Of the five victims who overdosed, four of them died, and investigators believe there still may be additional victims. Now, last month, as part of this investigation, Auburn had been charged in connection to the death of 30-year-old Joseph Crumpler. In that case, officers were called to a Zelda Street for a reported overdose. Crumpler, who was taken to the hospital in critical condition, later died. Now, according to police, Auburn admitted to giving Crumpler the drugs that caused his death and stole from him while he was incapacitated. Now, as their investigation continues, detectives are focusing that investigation on the area of I-71, State Route 161, Cleveland Avenue, and East 17th Avenue, again during that time period of December of last year through August of this year. And anyone with information on overdose deaths in that location during that time should contact Columbus Police. Police's homicide unit. We have that information on our website, NBC4I.com. Local for you at the Franklin County Courthouse, Matthew Herchik, NBC4.